What is up guys, name is Ray and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. So in today's video, we are talking about my account. I finally reached Trailblazers level 70 completely free to play. But before we hop into the topic of today's video, I just want to show you guys my Discord server. It is currently open. It is a part of my 1000 subscribers special. Um, I wanted to do a community server. Shoutouts to my boy Tony. Shoutouts to Yolo Digacha for helping me out for setting up the server. I think pretty much um, now everything or a lot is set and done. There is just some fine tuning that we have to do but most things are set by right now and yeah the server is free to join link will be in every description of every video from uh, now on and in the future so definitely feel free to join and build our community here we started also to discuss little things i can help you here very quick so if you message me over this code and you have a question to the, uh, referring to the game i'll help you as soon as i can um as well as of course my youtube short section which i do in every video i try to upload a youtube short every day so definitely make sure to check that out and support me over here all right let's get into the account review now so we'll get the rewards here finally this is the last time that i clicked on this and now let's take a look at my account um so yeah i will go like over every character not too much about the builds but in general what i noticed by playing this game free to play um i was very very limited with my resources so i limited myself probably with the resources that i had just because of the fact um okay maybe maybe i will show you proof i didn't buy the express supply pass as well as where is the battle pass as well as the battle pass as you can see the bottom row is locked and just here i just want to say that the rewards from the battle pass if you just buy the battle pass only they are so insane just compare this i as a free to play get only four condensed aider but if you buy the battle pass just on level two you get six refined aider which is like more than double the value same goes for this and if we just like go further you not only get like two single summons for the for the banners but you also get on level 29 i get one uh, four refined aether while you get 16 plus this so you get 20 refined aether and only get four because i am free to play so i think like the value and the gap just by buying battle pass and free to play is really really big so if you if you're considering spending into the game i really would recommend this but i just have to say i don't think it is necessary to buy this because as you can see I was able to clear everything. I cleared Swarm Disaster on the highest difficulty and I'm now also able to clear Memory of Chaos very, very casually on the highest difficulty. Um, yeah, so let's go like over the my characters. So I have Locha here. Um, like this is maybe the build. So I, I will like show you just uh, real quick. I don't want to talk about every character because I think the video will take too long. But for Locha, I uh, just focus on speed and defensive stats. Good God for energy recharge rope. I have him idle on zero. For Jing Liu, this is the newest addition to my account. Um, I was saving a lot for her. As you can see here, um, currently I'm messing around with two different builds. I also maxed out her traces. I don't think that basic attack is necessary for her. So if you want to save yourself some resources, never upgrade this. Uh, and yeah, basically, this is the build that I'm currently running. Uh, I don't feel like that two-piece speed is optimal, but I currently have like better stats because as you can see, I have crit damage here and I have um, also very good crit stats here. And I badly want to run this energy recharge rope. So I probably want to go with an attack percentage boot boots um for more optimal runs um it's also because that my bronya is way faster so yeah Maybe for clara i think there's nothing too special i run her with this her relics aren't even that good so yeah um it's like whatever here uh, um Maybe I, I just want to show you guys my bronya first before i move on with kafka because my bronya is like way faster than my jing liu I wanted to go back to attack percentage boot. Usually I would go speed boots on Jing Liu. But the thing is, either one of these two have to be way faster. Usually it has to be Bronya. Bronya has to be way, way faster than my Jing Liu. But I couldn't manage it because uh, currently, which is the, the issue that I have as a free-to-play, um, I am not really able to farm relics. 
Because every time I want to clear the content, I need this character to clear this certain kind of content. That's why I am upgrading this character. And there's no nothing really left for uh, farming relics. So I use all my Trailblaze power just for... Um, uh, just for upgrading the character so I can build a team that my stuff is like that my stuff at least works and this is like the big problem that I have as you can see here it starts now that I stopped upgrading everything I mean yeah as a free to play I'd actually recommend not to do something like this except if the character really needs everything I mean for Kafka you could like uh, let us uh, let out these two HP and the basic attack if you really want to be optimal. For Jing Liu, you can stop with the basic attack. For Lo Cha, I think you need you really need everything because he profits from everything. For Clara, I also do believe sh you need everything. She needs HP because she kind of has a tank because of her ultimate. But as you can see, I didn't upgrade this. But I think like these two are important. I think even basic attack is important. So I think like. I already did the bare minimum for Clara and yeah, I just stopped doing this because it now starts eating up the um, the boss material and I don't use the skill too often. Kafka, I max everything because she is one of my favorite characters, which is the reason. Trailblazer, I didn't max out. As you can see, I stopped here because I don't want to use like the Tracks of Destiny. Uh, I'm still ha I'm still have 25. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very, li I, I limit myself very often with the resources. Bronya is also one of my favorite characters, which is the reason why I upgraded everything. But I also do think that it is worth for Bronya. You want to maximize her basic attack because um, it can crit every time. And even though she is a support, you want to maximize her damage just because that little edge that she can give sometimes will help you to clear a certain kind of content. Um, and defensive stats, may maybe this is not that necessary, but, at but because you have like because I just like um, said, you really want to have like a little bit of the extra damage. So that's why I really think you kind of want to maximize everything on something like Bronya. Um, she doesn't do that much damage, but because this crits every time, um, I think you kind of want to maximize this because it will help you breaking shields. So yeah, I already showed this. For Natasha, um, yeah, Natasha, I actually invested quite a lot into Natasha. Um, except for the key traces, because I think Natasha will be the first uh, uh, character in my character roster that I will replace with another character. Because as soon as there are more healers available, Natasha won't be played anymore. We ha already have links included in the game. I unfortunately skipped him because I just said to myself, I don't have the resources to upgrade th uh, this character, even though I do believe that this character is the second best abundance character after Locha right now in the game. But I just said to myself, no, I have to skip that character. I will uh, still keep using Natasha just because of resources. And that's why I also won't put any more resources into Natasha. The good thing is I can use this set on any other abundance character in the future. As soon as I don't use Natasha anymore, as you can see, I already didn't max out everything on her. She is idle on free. So I still think, don't get me wrong, I still think Natasha is very good. But as soon as you have a better option than Natasha, you won't use her anymore. That's why I stopped um, putting resources into her. I put a little bit into Sample because I really like the character. He's on S5. Um, I did exactly the bare minimum here. So I just stopped on the defensive um, stuff. You could upgrade this. Effect resistance is, of course, still relevant because you don't want this character to get any crowd control. But um, yeah, it's like whatever. I did the bare minimum for him. Like a little bit more than the bare minimum, I'd say. Basic attack is actually relevant on him because it still can apply dot. So I would still upgrade his basic attack to the maximum. For relics, also nothing too crazy. A very, very standard build here. Um, I feel like... I did nothing too crazy on him. Eidolon 2. I, I wish I would have more Eidolons on him. Jinkwe also. I really like this character though. Mm, unfortunately I don't have anything really better than this. Um, for her I maximize a little bit more. I even maximize defensive stats. Because I want to. Um, she sometimes died. And I wanted to help her with her survivability. So I just decided to upgrade these two. Um, if you have something like Fushuan in your team or Japart, I think, and you want to, again, uh, save some resources, I think these two 
you can save the resources for. You have to upgrade basic attack and pretty much every other skill. So for Chinkoi, I think there is no um, exception. You have to upgrade everything and all the traces. The only thing that you can let out is these two. As soon as you have a um, defensive character that can cover this, the problems on this. Four piece quantum. Again, nothing too special here. So just pause if it is maybe too fast for you. But I don't want to stop like... And I finally was able to get her E6 with Jing Liu's banner. So yeah, and from here on, I think it stops. I just have the weapon, but she doesn't have any anything else. Um, I stopped using her just because I decided to go now for Clara. So this was the first replacement that happened. Su Sheng was my DPS since day one, actually. So she was my very first DPS in my character roster. But then I pulled Clara and I still su used Su Sheng for quite some time. But shortly before Jing Liu came out, I decided to swap into Clara and um, replace Jing Liu. And now she does have nothing. I did, um, as you can see, I did uh, just a little investment. I didn't upgrade any key trays from her. Um, just like some of the talents. And then after like four to five months of playing the game, I replaced her with Clara. And I am pretty sure that Clara will be replaced one day too. But it will take quite some time. That's why I think it is worth to uh, that I invested into Clara because I will still use her for quite some time now. Even though I have a new physical DPS character, I think Clara is still relevant in my character box just because of how she functions. Because she doesn't really take the main DPS spot, she also can be used a little bit as a bruiser, a sub-DPS. So that's why I really like Clara. Uh, for Dunhang, I decided to upgrade him. Uh, because back in the day when uh, Blade came out, I decided not to summon for Blade just because I wanted Kafka with the light cone so badly because she's one of my favorite characters. And after that, we know that there is no wind character in the new future that does DPS damage. Um, of course, I upgraded Sampo, but I was a little bit uh, dissatisfied with Sampo. He's like, he's like decently good if you use her, uh, him with Kafka, but as soon as Kafka is not on the team, he's like really really bad but uh, after um, upgrading him after upgrading Kafka I felt like Sample was decently enough but still sometimes there's a team comp where I do need to use Dan Hang um, since I pulled Jing Liu I didn't use Dan Hang that much so that's why I invested maybe a little too heavy into him but I think it's still fine he did his job he helped me with Memory of Chaos a lot in the past so I think it was worth to put some of my resources into the character though and yeah he's like still only idle on one i i really felt like that the investment into dan hang was worth it even though um i didn't use him that much then ting Yun, this is the character that i'm currently upgrading um yeah I, uh, who would have thought this is one of the best characters in the game and i didn't upgrade them because as i said i limit myself very hard with characters because i always want to have as you can see i always want to have like enough materials to upgrade any character to any time that's why i don't upgrade every character right away i also like have money i have like still five million uh which is not that much but i also i always save myself enough money for if I upgrade a character and the character is done, I will always have enough. I will always want to have enough resources to upgrade another character, just in case I want to pull for the next character. Any new character gets announced, or I spontaneously decide to upgrade a new character. And yeah, for I use the freestyle weapon here. Um, I think I still work on the talents, though. Um, I think I will also maximize everything because I really felt like that Tingyun is very, very worth to upgrade. Uh, I think she is. She's like a staple unit in your character roster for everyone who has her. And um, I really think that she deserves to be upgraded like everything. Because long term, I think um, you will still use her. Even though basic attack, even though she doesn't have a mechanic like Bronya, I would still upgrade her basic attacks to the maximum. Uh, because you use her E. And then for three turns, you still can use... Um, for three turns, uh, your main DPS is buffed. So you have two turns to use her basic attack. And you kind of want to maximize the damage because she maybe can weakness break the enemy. Um, yeah, I use also the very obvious set for her. I built her very defensively just for survivability right now. Um, I don't know if I would recommend this um, because the character is not ready yet. So I, I didn't test too much with her. She's idle on five. So just one more and we get the 10 energy recharge. So yeah, now I felt like it was time. 
for several I just built it a little bit so I never passed her through level 70 but I use her very often with uh, Kafka even though I didn't put uh, a lot of resources into her but she does a decently good job but I know that she will be replaced very very soon as soon as I have any better slot to fit into Kafka's team um, Serval won't be used anymore but right now I still use her and she gets enabled a lot by Kafka so just putting her alongside with Kafka helps out a lot even though I didn't put enough resources into her, but she helps, she helps really good. Hook was my seventh, uh, second main DPS after starting the game, but still have four stars, so I don't, I don't feel like showing them. And from here on, I think it's like whatever. So yeah, not invested into Himiko. Could think of uh, investing into her if I get Topaz for some reason. Um, I am. I want to invest into Pella next. This is the character that I am guaranteed to upgrade next because I really think she is very good. I, and I especially want to pair her with Jing Liu and Bronya because I think this is one of the strongest team that you can build right now. That's why I definitely want to upgrade Pella next after Ting Yin is ready and yeah, all the other characters are also not invested. So as you can see, I, I don't even upgrade them to level 20 to get the single summon. Because I don't feel like standard uh, banner single summons are important enough to me. Um, okay, let's go like a little bit over my inventory, like how it looks like. So as you can see, um, I'm very short on these because I don't really feel like these are worth to farm. These are not worth your trailblaze power. So I try to save these as much as possible. So that's why I don't want to upgrade every character because upgrading character also means that you probably have to upgrade... Um, the light cone of the character and that's why i um decided to save those i think these are like enough i used uh, a lot of these very recently because i started to upgrade some relics but i think yet like just naturally playing the game gives you a lot of these i think the problem is these because this these are only given out through memory of chaos and through um certain events and i don't want to farm them so i i be a little bit more careful for upgrading light cones other than this as you can see I have more than enough of these because back in the day I did for the farming route. So what does it mean? I basically run through the whole map and kill every mob that was there. But like right now I am in a state of the game where I think that it is not worth anymore. I also like just back in the, uh, back in the day I just um, I never I never leveled up my character fully to level 80. So sometimes I still do this and then I leveled five levels through the farming route every day. I did the farming route every day. To get some um, experience for the character just to save myself one or two books um like if you compare it to effort and what you gain it is not worth at all but i wanted to save myself some resources so i put in the time to farm it and yeah i did this i think for like two to three months straight like every day there was like maybe one or two days that i left out because i wasn't there but when i was at home I did this every day and right now as I am into the very very late game I am into the stages where I am able to clear everything I don't think that it is worth anymore I need to, the character to function on its full power um, as soon as I want to clear the content that's why I stopped doing the farming route and I read a farm on swamp disaster because I um, didn't unlock everything there so yeah probably this is it um yeah here I have quite a lot of uh, light cones, level 80, especially five star light cones. So I only have two signature light cones. These are two, these two, because I really forced them. Uh, I forced to get them. These two are free to play from the Herta shop. These were unlucky 50 50 rolls. Uh, same for this. These three were unlucky 50 50 rolls. I don't really like the standard weapons except for the one from Bronya. So if I could get the one from Bronya, it would be really, really good. But yeah, it's like whatever. Then. This is also still really good. It's free to play from the Memory of Chaos shop. This was just from side effect. Uh, and yeah, this is the free to play weapon from Silver Wolf. Um, basically, yeah, I really tend to like to use, uh, because I am from Genshin Impact, where I am not free to play, I always um, just pulled for the weapon for the character. So I always uh, have him on max maximum damage, like on E0 S1 which is like the bare minimum that I always do. And I, I still want to kind of do it here, even though if I'm free to play. Um, so yeah, the only character that 
doesn't have his signature weapon is probably Locha. Maybe it will be Topaz too, because I don't have enough for Topaz. Alright, so relics, I just showed you guys my relics. So as you can see, I also have a lot of relics, um, because I save them. Sometimes I do salvages to get better pieces. Uh, and yeah, I think this is like whatever still. This is like also whatever. This is also whatever. Uh, we have two single summons here. I have one self-modeling resin saved. And 472 from this. Um, I um, When I got into the later stage of the game, I started to use my fools. And yeah, now I also just have four left. Okay, let's if we go like into the shop. So I was saving for the weapon for Bronier for quite some time. But then I uh, needed some pulls for Kafka's light cone. Then I needed some pulls for Jingliu's light cone. Uh, now I'm back at 472. So maybe next time. Maybe next time I will be able to get Bronya's weapon. Because as soon as I got Bronya's weapon, which I would recommend you guys to get, because this is the best harmony weapon right now, or the most staple harmony weapon right now. After this, you can put all your Undying Starlights into Storial Special Passes. So yeah, as soon as you have Bronya's uh, Light Cone, I would recommend you guys to put everything into here because I don't think anything else here is worth. I wouldn't really recommend even to get four star characters here because 140 is quite a lot. 140 is equal to seven pulls into the banner. I mean, yeah, seven pulls doesn't guarantee you any four star, but seven pulls um, brings you seven pulls ahead into the pity, which can make a big difference. So that's why I wouldn't recommend you anything out of this except for the harmony weapon. And after this, I would go for the story special pass, honestly. All right. For this, um, if you can't spend enough, I'd recommend you guys to buy these. Because there's not an option in Genshin where you can get this stuff, though. Because this is resin stuff. And as soon as you just summon, you will get Undying Ambers. Especially if you're not free to play, I think you can invest into this. If you are free to play, I would be a little bit more cautious. You cannot buy this every month. I just started to buy this from this month, but not also not everything. As you can see, I just bought bought like 12 from the Nihility um, Key of Knowledge just to upgrade my character. But still, I'd rather use Trailblade Power rather than um, investing all the resources in here. I'm still be cautious with my, my, my resources. I do not spend everything in here. Um, yeah, this is like still whatever. All right. Uh, if we're looking here, this is currently my uh, Stellar Jade count. Jingle use just a couple of days here. And yeah, I think that's it. This is was my character showcase. I tried to compromise it as much as I can. It's still over 20 minutes, but yeah, like you have now the gist of every of my characters, how it is built, about my inventory, about plans that I have into the shop. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Subscribe and yeah, bye.